Is that all you got other me? A knife? God, this is awfully familiar to the Cheryl fight, huh? Except they don't have a gun this time. Oh god, they can run. Oh, that's weird. Um... Oh, I gotta reload these. What should I start with? The, the crappiest thing? The pistol? Nah, let's start with the shotgun. Actually, just in case they're not generous and there's no um, save point here, I'm gonna go ahead and do a save state. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry? Are you blocking my shotgun? Oh, shit. Oh, god. I, I think that was hurting me, like... Yeah, some sort of weird acid or something. Oh god, you have a gun now! Let me- let me switch weapons. Um, let's use a medkit. Yeah, so I've got two ampules. That is so goofy! <laughs> that doesn't make any sense! I'm sorry, let's just pause for a second. You can't block bullets with your hand. That's absurd. Alright, um... Well, it's pretty much all ammo except for my handgun. I'm just gonna zap you. Oh, okay, you can block electricity. Sure. Where are you going? Why are you running? Oh, they disappear. Oh, oh, they're coming back with different weapons. You gonna fight me or what? Oh shit, I'm red. Do you think the other me likes beef jerky? bad on health. And I've only got two more stuns left. Okay, uh... 
I got seven handgun. Oh no. It's an SMG. Yeah, I'm red. I have no healing supplies. I have nothing but beef jerky. <laughs> so I'm almost certainly dead, uh, but I'm just going to go in with my katana, I guess. Um, I probably have enough ammo to do this. Let's try that again, but this time now I kind of know how the blocking works. You sort of want to shoot them when either they're like in the process of shooting you, or ideally, at least when they're using a melee weapon, let them swing first and then you got like a couple seconds to hit them when they can't block. So I'm going to try that and let's see if it is generous with the save, by the way. It is. Okay, cool. Alright. Um, let's keep in mind that the later versions of this character, or really any of the ones with ranged weapons, are much harder than the melee ones, so let's not use the powerful stuff to begin with. Yeah, let's just start with the stun gun. Or actually, wait, 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 wait. Do I even need to use a stun gun? Can I just use a katana safely? I think they run when I prepare my weapon. on health. Not terrible, like I can take a bit of damage here if it saves me a bunch of ammo that I can much better use on stronger opponents. I should probably remember that if they can block bullets, I can probably block bullets too, right? Although I'm guessing for me it probably doesn't negate all damage. But yeah, I've like literally never blocked in the entire game ever. <laughs> uh, hold on. How do I block? Let's try it. I'm gonna try it right now. 
Oh, wow. Look at that. That didn't magically stop bullets. Mm, I'm red. Let's use an ampule. Damage did that do? Ah, uh, not terrible. Okay. Next one has a pipe and then SMG, right? Uh, pipe has a really long range. I think I'm gonna use a weapon for that, like a, a gun. Let's have the pistol as the last resort. Okay, yeah, just don't hit them at all. Damn. Nice. Yeah, if you know what to do about blocking, you can do a lot better. Alright, next one is SMG. Uh oh, that one's gonna hit. Um, let's use my own SMG? Yeah. I hope that's the last one, but I don't know. Use my ampule, that's my last healing item. Um, I have a little bit of stun gun and a little bit of pistol. Let's go handgun. Fuck. Oh, fuck. You're still going at it, huh? I'm doing on health then. Wow, not bad. I mean, kind of bad, but not red. No, fuck. Shoot above the head, that's great. Fuck. Hold on. Stun gun. Oh my god, I did it. Please tell me that's the last one. Please, 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 please. Pray to the beef jerky gods. I'm highly hurt, have no ammo for like anything. It would be better for myself to die 
After all, it's nothing to be afraid of. That child, that demon. When I think of the endless pain it will bring when it is birthed, I decided that instead of the suffering and cruelty I endured in that sick room, that I would like to bestow a more gentle and peaceful death on myself. Why do I resist? I never thought of myself as such a fool. Alessa. I guess it's kind of strange for me to call you that since you are me. But you know what? You and I don't think alike after all. And it's not that I don't remember that sick room either. So is that the original Alessa trying to... Was that the original Alessa trying to kill me? Basically just to put me out of my misery? Because they think it's better to not live at all than to go back to that? I wonder if this is at all similar to the Sybil fight where somehow there was a way to save Sybil during that fight, but I don't know how. I wonder if there's anything like that for this fight, because this really does mirror the Sybil fight so much. My controller's just constantly vibrating. Oh. Nasty. Stained by the evils of this world, we hold our sorrows within us. Only you can heal us these wounds. Each morning, afternoon, evening, and night, we call out your name and pray for the day of the miraculous descent. Alright, this is not by Alessa. This is by the cultists. I give to you unreservedly my body and my eternal soul. Whatever darkness may befall me, I will endure with you beside me. As proof of your miraculous power, guide our obedient and willing souls to the road of paradise, O Lord. We will not give in to the power of temptation as long as we have you in our hearts. O Lord, save us with your compassion. O Lord, shower us with your blessings. O Lord, favor us with your abundance. Something written on the door. This door is the gate which leads to the road to paradise. Embrace the bosom of the Holy Mother. Admit your sins and be forgiven. Eternal tranquility can be yours. How did you get here? Vincent, wasn't it? He led you here. When will he cease his meddling? But it's just as well. Luring you here also serves my purposes. Checkmate. Not yet. The time is not yet at hand. The time when all will be forgiven their sins. When the paradise we have long dreamed for will arrive. After the judgment and atonement, an eternity of bliss. Oh, Alessa, the world you wanted is nearly here. That's not what I want. Not you. Alessa, your true self. 
But I am Alessa. My little Claudia, my dear sweet sister. Alessa? Is it you? Oh, how I've missed you. I don't need another world. It's fine the way it is. But you said it yourself. The world must first be cleansed with fire. But that's not what I want now. Alessa, don't you want happiness? Have you become blind to all the hopeless suffering in the world? We need, we all need God's salvation. Listen, suffering is a fact of life. Either you learn how to deal with that or you go under. You can stay in your own little dream world, but you can't keep hurting other people. Besides, I'll never forgive you for hurting my father. I wish only for the salvation of mankind. But for that to happen, the world must first be remade. And for that, we need God. You self-righteous witch! No one asked you to help! All is growing within you. You despise me, don't you? You're damned right I do! That's good. I have Knight Tarot card. Somehow I remember the stained glass. It shows God and the man and woman who birthed her. I used to come to this chapel all the time when I was a little girl. I came to worship God and to ask for my prayers to be answered. But it wasn't exactly me. It was actually Alessa when she was a little girl. But anyway, none of my prayers were ever answered. Oh, I gotta go all the way back to the first save and overwrite it. Back when I was 18 minutes in. I'm in such a bad condition, like literally one hit and I'm dead. Found this in the chapel. Is this a real tarot card though? The Eye of Night. I'm just like looking for a health kit in all these pews, please. This is where I need to be. There's no reason to go back to the amusement park. Does that go back to the amusement park? Where does this go then? Nowhere. Nothing I can do with the organ. I don't know how to play anyway. Just a, a child's drawing, I guess. Alessa's drawing. <laughs> I got a church map. Is that going to be my actual map? Oh my god. That's such a neat little detail.
please forgive me. I know I'll be put to death for the sins I've committed. And I'll go to my death gladly and with a peaceful heart. But please, grant me just a small piece of your everlasting mercy. Let me see my child once within your golden gates. Deliver me not to hell, but to purgatory. Allow me to atone for my sins there. I'll stand within the very flames of redemption, no matter how they burn me. Forgive me for my wicked act of revenge. And deliver the soul of my poor murdered daughter. Please, also care for the soul of the girl whose life I have taken. God, I am a child, trembling with fear as I stare at death. Soothe my tortured soul with your infinite mercy. Please, forgive me. Say I forgive you or don't say anything. So I was thinking that this person may be a younger Dahlia Gillespie. Maybe, although what they said didn't really fit what I understood of them. But I just looked up the Silent Hill wiki article for this person because I just wanted to be super sure on who they were. And yeah, they're not Dahlia Gillespie. They're just, well, they're just called The Confessor. So they're just somebody from the cult who apparently their child was killed? Yeah, and then she killed, I guess, another person as revenge for that. Okay, well, I was if that was Dolly, I was going to say hell no, but... Um, yeah. Oh. I forgive you. Thank you, Lord. That's a powerful little moment. That was a really good scene. These are the cult's scriptures. They don't look worth reading. Nothing more to be said. I have the feeling that there's someone on the other side of this door. But the door is shut tight and I can't open it no matter how hard I try. <laughs> 